walk you for a minute. Now Jesus told Nicodemus, he said, look, you can't eat from this table unless you're born again. In other words, your spirit must be alive in order to, to receive from God and have that word of God have an effect on your life. And what God is doing now, he's speaking by his spirit. And that means you have to receive it in your spirit. Not with knowledge, not in your brain. How many know God is a spirit? He's a spirit. And Jesus said, the words that I speak, they are what? Spirit and what? Life. Breath and life. That's what makes us different from religion. It's the life of God. It's always been. For 30 years we've been here. We feast on the Zoe life of Jesus Christ. That keeps us from being a, a religious system or a box on the block. I want to read a scripture to you out of 1st Thessalonians chapter 2. That's what we've been sharing, but this is Paul. He was thanking the people because they were alive under God. 1st Thessalonians 2.13 For this cause also we thank God. Because when you receive the word, now to receive the word, that means your spirit must be alive. Right? When you receive the word of God, which you heard of us, you receive it not as the word of men. But as it is in truth, the word of God. Which effectually, that word is operative, active, powerful in you. That works in you. When the word of God is speaking, now God is speaking by prophets. Now you can hear the word of God. The prophets are speaking. But what God is looking for is a vessel that's alive unto him. And once that word hits your spirit, I mean, you know it begins to operate and become active and carry out what was spoken. Now I'm here to tell you, when you receive the word today and for the rest of your life, be alive under God. Nicodemus, you can't eat from this table unless you're born again. You can't hear these words unless your spirit is alive. You can't relate to me unless you are alive in your spirit. And I'm telling you, for 30 years, that separated us from the world, from religion. It's the ability to receive Zoe, not just words. The words that I speak, they are full of Zoe in life. So, receive it in your spirit today by faith and watch the word effectually what? Work of where? In you. That's the kingdom, say in me. There's something working in me. I'm telling you, there's something good working in me, Jesus.
can sense there was a real stirring of God the last month or two. You can feel something good is happening inside you. I hope you can. I am aware of it. My wife and I have both have talked about it. We sense this beautiful, somewhat of a, maybe I hate to use the word slow, but more consistent, just lift every day. Feeling it every day. There's a real moving of God, a real stirring. When I was a boy, I had this old saying, and I'm sure that you've heard it, but you got to dance with who brought you. And I know what got me here. And that's why we're going back and licking this calf. He's going to double up on his anointing and presence, but it's still going to be the same principles that got you here. That's right. I've been serving him now for 50 years. I, I finally got into uh, thank all y'all that were a part the other day, blessing me on my birthday. I appreciate that. I'm knocking on 70, but I've been with him for 50 years. And I'm telling you what, I was laying in bed a couple of days ago and the Spirit of God came up on me for me personally and I began to reminisce. I just started going over everything that I had experienced with God, the encounters, the moments, the visitations, the wow. And it was just marvelous to go back over all of that and, and give an account to the Lord of what you have done for me. You know, it's what the days of the Israelites that something would happen and they'd stack the stones up as a uh, memorial to them. I have so many, if you would, stones stacked up. And I like to visit them once in a while and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You have some of those. Moments where you can thank God that he delivered you. I love what Psalm said. He delivered me out of the dung hill. Brought me among the princes of God's people. That's exactly what he's done. I'm like, yeah, I feel the rumbling, and I do. Yes, sir. I couldn't wait. When I woke up this morning, I didn't wait to get up and get into prayer. That was a little after 4 o'clock. I said, man, I don't want to lay here. I'm going to go to prayer. And I, I've been praying and really, really going after some things, and you'll see why in just a moment. Judah, I love that song, by the way. Amen. And I want to say to all of Judah here, because there's something also that you're not here to play. We're here to praise. Amen? Amen. If it's your desire that you just want to play and do all that, then... I don't mean to be disrespectful, y'all just may as well sit down. This whole religious world of recreation and entertainment, we brought it right into the church, have we not? Yes, yes. We just go to be entertained and, boy, I want to pray. I want his presence. Now, look, what Christ, what, uh, Christ spoke while ago through Jeff. You've got you to lay hold of it. The word of God effectually worketh in them that believe. And I have learned a lot about this. The Word of God can lay dormant in you. You don't want to do that. You want the power of God to be active and effective and powerful. And uh, you just got to, to, to stay in this faith with God where that Word of God is always alive. It's just not a theological uh, <clears throat> revelation. It's not some type of knowledge you have or study or six-tape series. It's a living, vital force. So keep keep your faith toward God, amen, and keep pressing into the things of God. This is a great moment, by the way. And I want to say this. We, you have to be instant in season, out of season. You're going to be getting calls to do things. You are. You're going to be asked to do something, to visit somebody, pray for somebody. And I'm telling you what, you want to go in there full of the power of God. You don't want to say, I'm not ready. Amen. You want to go in there bringing them God, bringing them the presence of God, bringing them the life of God. That's what you want to do. I want to hear what you hear. I want to hear what you hear. 